Now I have before me the Dell XPS 13 Plus and the HP Spectre X360. This is the 14 inch model. Now I have to say right off the bat, if I'm gonna choose one of these laptops, it's going to be the Spectre. The screen is absolutely gorgeous. It literally looks like somebody stuck an iPad on this display. It's big, it's open, it just has a lot of room to breathe. And then the trackpad on this laptop is really big for a 14 inch laptop. Uh, match that with a very nice laid out keyboard and these nice little beveled edges that kind of lay off of the keyboard deck. It's very comfortable on your hands. But we're gonna get into a full comparison between these two laptops because the Dell XPS 13 Plus is actually slightly more powerful and we'll discuss why a little bit later in the video. Now, punch for punch, they both have great build quality. They're both aluminum laptops. They're thin and light, as you can see here with the weight and thickness coming up on the screen. And they're very well assembled. They both are fit nicely, bottom cover into the side panel, no catchy edges. They look really, really good. Now there's a vent here along the bottom of the Spectre where you have two vents along the side for the XPS. So they both get good ventilation and we'll check the thermal temperatures as well in just a few minutes. Uh, now, as far as the ports and connectivity are concerned, as you can see here on the left side panel, you have a USB type A on the Spectre and a USB type C on the XPS. And then hidden in the corner here, we actually have our headphone jack for the Spectre. Now on the right side panel for both laptops, on the Spectre, we have a micro SD card slot, a USB type C, and then another hidden USB type C here along the hidden spot as well. So we have two USB type C's, a micro SD card slot, and a USB type A, as well as a headphone jack on the Spectre, where all we have on the Dell XPS is two USB type C's. So from a functionality standpoint, the Spectre wins there. Now for the classic tap test, they both pass that very well. Very nice top cover tap on the HP Spectre X360. Bottom cover has a little bit of rattle compared to the Dell XPS. I'll do a quick bottom cover tap. A little bit more solid sounding, but the top covers on both laptops are very good. Now, as we open up the laptops, that'll reveal the large screens that I discussed earlier. Now they're both 16 by 10 aspect ratio screens. However, this is a 13 inch screen on the Dell XPS 13 Plus, and it's a 14 inch screen on the HP Spectre X360. And honestly, that like half inch uh, as you can see right there along the top, it's about a half an inch, maybe a quarter inch, really does create a bigger presentation of the screen and it just really stands out. I, I, I can't even explain why, um, but I don't know if you can see it even from the view of the top camera. I don't know, you can just, you can just tell it looks bigger and it really makes a difference. Now they're both touchscreen, but the Spectre X360 is a two-in-one laptop, making it great for digital artists, grab a pen, touch up your designs, whether you're a photographer, digital artist, or graphic designer. And so I think overall, from a creator standpoint, this one really wins out from a functionality position. Now you can see the color gamut range and color accuracy coming up on the screen. And as you can tell, they're both very similar. So you're not really gonna win out either way with those details. Um, but as far as the size is concerned, Man, the, uh, the X360 screen is a lot better in my opinion. Now, here's a quick sample of the webcams in use so you can see what those look like. This is the webcam on the Dell XPS 13 Plus and a little sample of the audio for you as well. This is the webcam on the HP Spectre X360 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. And in regards to the audio experience of each of the laptops, here's a quick sample of the audio coming out of the speakers of each of the laptops. <laughs> Now, like I mentioned earlier, the keyboard and trackpad on the Spectre X360 is very nice. It's a little bit more traditional, has a spaced out layout compared to the Dell XPS 13 Plus. I will say I really like how they did the keyboard here. Um, it functions very well, even though the keys are so close together, the keys are large enough that you're not tapping accidental keys. Um, it was a very good design. Now, the trackpad is hidden on the Dell XPS 13 Plus. It starts here at the space bar and ends here right before the control key. So actually from a size standpoint, the trackpads are very similar. Um, 
However, the, the trackpad is much more traditional, so it might make somebody more comfortable using a traditional trackpad, although the trackpad on the XPS 13 is very functional. I like it a lot. But that gives you an idea of the two keyboards and the differences between them. Now, keep in mind, they both are gonna sound a little bit different because this is a manual click trackpad where this is a vibration click trackpad. So here's a quick audio sample between the two so you can hear what it sounds like. Now, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of each of these laptops, and maybe you're considering purchasing one of them, there'll be links in the description below. If you do use those links to make a purchase, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. I'm freaking stoked about the Patreon that we're about to launch. Absolutely. We're launching a freaking Patreon and you should join because it's going to be awesome. We're going to have never before seen content on the channel. Patreon, not channel, channel's YouTube. So why is this content not being posted to YouTube? Well, the answer is really simple. I know that there is a tight group of loyal followers that follow my content. And I wanna reward and be a part of the tight, loyal community that we have been building here as we've been reaching 85,000 subscribers. And I wanna go deeper with you guys. I wanna do live Q and A's. I wanna get face to face with you and chat in a live video call with my most faithful subscribers. I wanna repurpose that content and put it on my channel so you can then be featured in my channel with me. I want to do exclusive giveaways that I can't just launch to the masses of communities. There's sometimes I get to keep laptops, but I don't need them. And so it's a place for me to basically just give back to my most loyal community followers. Now, in regards to the thermal temperatures, I mentioned that earlier with the Dell XPS 13, you're going to get a little bit cooler thermal temperatures at around 65 degrees Celsius up to 67 degrees Celsius. Now you didn't have a lot of customization capable inside of the Spectre X360. So we just saw 71 degrees Celsius, which is a solid thermal temperature for really any laptop. Anything below 80 is stellar. So we get good thermal temperatures on both laptops. So in regards to the performance differences, it's very nominal. The biggest place we see a difference is gonna be in Cinebench R23 multi-core. And you can see we have about 2000 points different. But when you get into the Photoshop benchmark, you can see that they're only about a 10 point difference between the Dell XPS 13 Plus and the HP Spectre X360. Now in video editing, we do see the difference spread out a little bit. You can see for 4K playback that the Spectre X360 dropped 313 frames, whereas the Dell XPS 13 Plus only dropped 185. So it's about double the dropped frames. Um, not crazy, like you probably wouldn't notice a huge difference between the two, but just keep in mind that it's going to have slightly better playback. Now, in regards to the export time, that's where I saw the biggest difference. It was about a minute and 30 seconds better export time out of the XPS 13 Plus. So just keep in mind, if you want a slightly faster export time for video editing, then you should go with the Dell XPS 13 Plus. However, basically all the other benchmarks are very neck and neck. So really it's more of a form factor decision than it is a performance decision. Now, one of the most important things to consider, of course, is battery life. And they're actually pretty neck and neck in regards to battery life as well. You can see that the Spectre X360 gets very similar to the Dell XPS 13 Plus. So again, not a big difference between these two laptops. As you can see, really the biggest difference is the form factor and functionality. I think the HP Spectre X360 kind of wins out in that area. You have more ports, it's a two-in-one laptop. You know, they're both touchscreen, but this is a two-in-one, so it makes it great for carrying a pen, touching up designs, photos, or your artwork. Uh, and then of course, the manual trackpad, mechanical click trackpad is a bit more of a traditional design. Uh, and then of course, the keys being spaced apart, it's just more of what you might be used to in a laptop. I think the Dell XPS, 13 plus is really cool with the invisible trackpad and the keys kind of shoved together, but still a very thoughtful design because it's easy to type on. Let me know in the comment section below which one you're considering purchasing. I'm very curious. And if you want to check the live pricing or you're ready to make a purchase, I'll put links in the description below. If you do use those, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. Subscribe. If you want to help us reach 100,000 subscribers by Christmas, I and everybody involved in this channel would greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video.